Using the principles of negative feedback, we have come up with a topology for a voltage control voltage source with gain of 1 using a single MOS transistor. Okay. Now, let us analyze it further. This is the small signal picture of a MOS transistor and as is quite common while doing preliminary analysis of circuits, I have ignored the output conductance. Okay. Now, we said that the input voltage must be applied to the gate terminal, the output must be taken from the source terminal and the drain terminal is grounded. Okay. So, when I say the input is applied to the gate terminal, obviously it means between the gate and some common ground to which the drain is also connected and similarly, when I say the output is uh, taken from the source terminal, it means between source terminal and ground. Okay. So, let me put those things down as well. So, I have a source V i and it usually has some non-zero resistance R s and that is connected between the gate and ground. The output it is taken between source and ground. What it means is that I connect the load resistance here. Okay. Both this source that is a voltage source in series with a resistance and the load which is just a resistance are representations of what comes before and after. It may not really be a voltage source in series with a resistance. Okay. It represents the thevenin equivalent of whatever is driving this. Similarly, this represents the equivalent input resistance of whatever comes after that. Okay. So, now let us analyze this. Earlier, we kind of did some hand waving analysis and said that V naught must be equal to V i. Okay. Now, of course, at the time we did not consider the load and so on. We just said that if nothing was here, then this current here would be flowing into the parasitic capacitor and steady state will be reached when that current becomes equal to 0. So, the source voltage has to become equal to the gate voltage. Now, let us analyze this circuit properly and then see. Okay, it is very easy, extremely simple circuit. The one thing you have to be careful when you go to different types of circuits is that in the common source amplifier, the source is at ground. Okay, So, the gate voltage itself is the gate source voltage. This is of course, not true of all circuits in general. Okay, In this case, clearly the source is not connected to ground. So, do not just look at the gate voltage and assume that it is the gate source voltage. You have to take the difference between this and that to compute the gate source voltage. Now, this is a very commonly made mistake. That is why I am highlighting this. Many times in a circuit like this, where the source is not connected to ground, students tend to compute the gate voltage and multiply the gate voltage with GM to get this current source instead of actually computing the gate source voltage. Okay, Please be careful about that. Now, this is really a one node circuit. First of all, no current is flowing into the gate. So, the voltage at the gate is V i. Of course, voltage is always defined between two terminals. So, when I say voltage at some node, obviously, the other node is the common ground of the circuit. So, this is V i. Now, the voltage at the source is the output voltage. That is where we take the output from V naught. So, what is V g s? V g s is V i minus V naught. And this current source here is g m times V i minus V naught. Okay. So, all this is known. The only thing is to equate this current to that current. There is really only one node in the circuit where we can write Kirchhoff's current law and we have to write g m times V i minus V naught equals V naught divided by R l and sometimes it is convenient to write it as V naught times g l, where g l is the load conductance. Okay. extremely simple. From this, you solve for the output voltage V naught and what do you get? You will get V naught to be G m R L by 1 plus G m R L times V i or in terms of conductances G m by G m plus G l times V i. Now, what is it that we really wanted? We wanted a voltage controlled voltage source of gain 1. Okay, V naught equals V i. Now, we have got something different. Can this be equal to 1 or at least close to 1? 
of course it can it's very easy to see that if gmrl is much much more than 1 then this is approximately equal to 1 okay so this number is approximately equal to 1 if gmrl is much more than 1 or in terms of conductances gm much greater than gl okay so this also tells you how to choose the operating point of the mos transistor if you have a certain load resistance you have to choose the operating point of the mos transistor such that the gm at the operating point times the load resistances much more than 1 or put this way the gm of the mos transistor the trans conductance of the mos transistor at the operating point is much more than the load conductance if you satisfy that condition then v not approximately equals vi okay so now it looks like what we got intuitively from negative feedback does operate more or less like that that is more or less like a voltage control voltage source of gain 1 when you connect a real source and load to it okay in this case we have connected a source with some source resistance rs and a load with some load resistance rl okay it does behave like that of course you have to satisfy this condition okay now the other uh, interesting characteristics of uh, voltage control voltage source are the input resistance which must ideally be infinite and the output resistance which must ideally be zero okay let's compute those things as well the input resistance is evaluated between the terminals where you apply the input between the gate and ground remember between these two terminals is where you connect the input source and the output resistance is computed between the source terminal and ground that is wherever you connect rl okay as i have mentioned before while evaluating the input resistance the load must be in place and similarly while evaluating the output resistance the source resistance must be in place okay so let's compute these things and see what we get the input resistance is really trivial but i'm going to show it anyway the drain is grounded the gate is where you connect the input source and the load is connected there okay and what you have to do is calculate the resistance between this point and ground now of course normally what you do is apply a test voltage find the current and so on but it's very obvious that the current going in here is zero okay so whatever test voltage you apply between these two terminals the current will be zero so the input resistance which is v test by i test if i do apply a v test i would have applied it here right i would have applied it there v test by i test is simply infinite okay so this topology at least the way we have drawn it with just the small signal equivalent of the mos transistor does give you the ideal value of the input resistance the ideal value should have been infinite and it is really infinite it's not drawing any current and this is great why is that because regardless of how bad this voltage source is that is driving the input rs could be very large but still all of this vi appears at the input terminal the gate terminal of the circuit okay now what about the output resistance to calculate the output resistance you null the input source that is you have set vi equal to 0 and you have rs over there and between these two terminals is where you connect the load resistance okay so you have to find the resistance between these two terminals and the drain is of course grounded okay so i repeat the earlier warning please be careful about what the source voltages and all these calculations that you carry out okay so i'll apply v test here and find the current flowing i test and v test by i test will give me the output resistance how do i go about the calculation first of all what is the gate voltage there is no gate current flowing so no current through rs so consequently the gate voltage is at 0 volts with respect to ground now what is the voltage at the source that is equal to v test because v test is connected between the source and ground so what's the gate source voltage vgs of the mos transistor 
V G S equals minus V test, right? Zero minus V test, and this current source here inside the MOS transistor is G M times V G S, which is equal to minus G M V test. Okay, it really means a current of uh, G M V test is flowing upwards. Minus G M V test is flowing downwards. G M times V test is flowing upwards. Okay, and that's exactly equal to I test. Okay, I test is simply G M V test. So R out is V test divided by I test, which is G M times V test, and it is equal to one by G M. Okay. So the output resistance of this uh, circuit is one by G M. It's not zero. We wanted output resistance to be equal to zero, ideally. Now, what we are getting is one over G M. Now we said that in a voltage controlled voltage source, the output resistance must be small. Now, what is it small or large compared to compared to the load resistance? Okay, so the output resistance must be much smaller than the load resistance. What does it mean for us in our case? One over G M, which is the output resistance, must be much smaller than R L. In other words, G M R L must be much more than one, or G M much greater than one by G L. Remember, this is exactly the same condition that we needed. To have the gain of the circuit V naught by V I to be close to one, okay. So if you satisfy that, you will automatically satisfy this, okay. So this circuit does behave like a good voltage controlled voltage source. It has a gain. Which is GMRL divided by GMRL plus one, which is approximately one if GMRL is much greater than one, and RN is indeed infinity, and R out is one by GM, which, if you do satisfy this condition, it will be much smaller than RL. Okay. So what we have got is a viable voltage control voltage source of gain one. Okay. Now, in this particular circuit, we have the input which is applied to the gate. It's applied between the gate and ground, and we have the MOS transistor. The drain is connected to ground, and The load is connected between the source terminal and ground. Okay. So, if you observe, the input is connected between gate and ground, and you can also think of it as between gate and drain. And similarly, the output is taken between source and ground, or in other words, between source and drain. Okay. In a common source amplifier, the input was applied between gate and source, and the output was applied between drain and source. The source was common to input and output. That's why it's called a common source amplifier. And in this case, the drain is common to input and output. So this particular topology, the voltage-controlled voltage source of gain one, is also known as a common drain amplifier. Okay. now there is another name for it and that comes from we know that the output voltage which is the same as the voltage at the source terminal is approximately equal to the input voltage which is also the voltage at the gate terminal okay essentially the source voltage
follows the gate voltage okay so for this reason it's also in fact more commonly called the source follower okay this means that the source voltage follows the gate voltage okay so if you see the literature you will frequently see the term source follower so that is refer that refers to the common drain amplifier or the voltage control voltage source of gain 1 okay so that completes the small signal picture and analysis of the voltage control voltage source of gain 1 or common drain amplifier or source follower whichever way you think about it now what we'll do next is to find a suitable biasing arrangement for this and complete the circuit okay because so far what we have is just the incremental picture that can't be realized as it is right the operating point of the mos transistor has to be set up and at that operating point the incremental picture should look like this okay 